time for another uh, all aboard layout update. I uh, went, got to the hobby shop today and picked out quite a bit of track and roadbed here. You see, I have ordered a Pico number five switch for right there where that template is. I'm gonna come off from there, down there, and connect right there. Got an S bin going through there. Switch. This will be the Indiana Railroad main line down here. Down here I have another switch. And over here I have the extension. As you can see here, I cut it off right there. Got the feeder wires running. Over here I installed a ground throw I had left over from the main layout over here. I, this light is just temporary until I can get um, some more lighting like that. So, gotta get that switch in. I'll install this piece of flex over here. Right through there. And for then that'll be done. I also have a new track plane, so we'll go up and check okay, it out. We're up here at the computer, check out the uh, new track plane. As you can see, this is where the main will be. I just removed that to, so I know what I've already done. I'll have switch coming off here. This will be a uh, run around and holding track. Here will be an overflow track if they have more cars than they can hold. Switch going off here. Still have the green elevator and two tracks here for it. And the new, the ch big change is that over here, I'm gonna have a lumber mill, one of the uh, Walther's kits. So right here will be the main lumber loading building for the um, center beam flat cars. And here will be wood chip hopper loading. So over here, grain cars, wood chip, and. The holding track. So that's the main layout design there. So that should be looking pretty good. So tell me what you got. Tell me what you guys think of it, and uh, see you guys next time.